Chapter 22 Then the people of Jerusalem made Ahaziah, Jehoram's youngest son, their next king. The marauding bands of Arabs had killed all the older sons. So Ahaziah, son of Jehoram, reigned as king of Judah. Ahaziah was twenty-two years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem one year. His mother was Athaliah, a granddaughter of King Omri of Israel. Ahaziah also followed the evil example of King Ahab's family, for his mother encouraged him in doing wrong. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight, just as Ahab had done. After the death of his father, members of Ahab's family became his advisers, and they led him to ruin. Following their evil advice, Ahaziah made an alliance with King Joram, the son of King Ahab of Israel. They went out to fight King Hazael of Aram at Ramoth-Gilead, and the Arameans wounded Joram in the battle. Joram returned to Jezreel to recover from his wounds, and King Ahaziah of Judah went to Jezreel to visit him. But this turned out to be a fatal mistake, for God had decided to punish Ahaziah. It was during this visit that Ahaziah went out with Joram to meet Jehu, son of Nimshai, whom the Lord had appointed to end the dynasty of Ahab. While Jehu was executing judgment against the family of Ahab, he happened to meet some of Judah's officials and Ahaziah's relatives who were attending Ahaziah. So Jehu killed them all. Then Jehu's men searched for Ahaziah, and they found him hiding in the city of Samaria. They brought him to Jehu, who killed him. Ahaziah was given a decent burial because the people said, He was the grandson of Jehoshaphat, a man who sought the Lord with all his heart. None of the surviving members of Ahaziah's family was capable of ruling the kingdom. When Athaliah, the mother of King Ahaziah of Judah, learned that her son was dead, she set out to destroy the rest of Judah's royal family. But Ahaziah's sister Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Jehoram, took Ahaziah's infant son Joash and stole him away from among the rest of the king's children who were about to be killed. She put Joash and his nurse in a bedroom. In this way, Jehoshaphat, the wife of Jehoiada the priest, hid the child so that Athaliah could not murder him. Joash remained hidden in the temple of God for six years while Athaliah ruled over the land.